Hi, I'm B. Smith. Welcome to B. Smith with Style. This week, fashion designer Suli Benelli proves that it's not your mother's little black dress anymore. We show you some easy but inspired ways to jazz up the ordinary in both the kitchen and bath. And Tony Award winner Brian Stokes Mitchell helps make the classic dessert tiramisu. Discovery special moment. You reach out and grab life day by day. Add just a touch of magic. Find your own kind of style. Walk away with a smile. Every day's your own holiday. When you're dressing for a special occasion, do you find yourself reaching for the same dress again and again? Lots of us do. But you don't have to wear a uniform. Today we're at the showroom of designer Sully Benelli, whose collection is full of elegant options that give any woman a way to express her own personal style. Hi, Sully. How, how are you? How are you? Good. You know, I'm excited about what you're doing because I love the idea of dressing with separates. Every modern woman should have evening separates in her wardrobe. The great thing about it is there's so much that you can do with separates. For instance, with this outfit, I might want to wear this top and then change it and wear some tight slacks with it. Exactly, or you can put it with uh, leather pants. I always like the idea of being able to go into my closet and mix and match. That, so that's that's my idea of, uh, of dressing for evening. I want you to do that. I want my customer to do that. It's having fun and it's playing. It's like going shopping in your closet. Yeah, <laughs> you should be able to go shopping in your own closet. That's right. Well, let's talk about this. I like the use of the sweater. It's a cashmere sweater mm -hmm. and uh, the idea of a men's sweater, argyle, which is really a very classic pattern, mm -hmm. but then I made it in a more glamorous women's uh, shape and beaded it. For, it's casual elegance. Casual elegance, right. exactly. Well, that's a great idea. I've never seen an argyle sweater look this great. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's talk about this. What I like about this outfit is it's for the spirited personality, right? Well, it's very sexy and, uh, again, glamorous mm -hmm. and a, an entrance maker. But at the same time, it looks like a one-piece dress and it's actually a two-piece. It's a bustier uh -huh. with a skirt. Now, I think that the best thing about separates for women is that it does give you variety, but also for a variety of figure types. Absolutely. It doesn't matter where you have your waist. The skirt could be a little higher, mm -hmm. the bustier could be a little lower. If, if it's a one-piece dress, it doesn't work the same exactly. way. Exactly. And this is a very interesting thing. You know, these um, little ribbons here are actually made of the same material that uh, Federal Express envelopes are made Really? Of. Yes. That's very interesting. And you know, the fabric that you're using here has a look of suede underneath. I love to experiment with, with fabrics, and uh, I created some new fabrics that I want to show you. Excellent. <laughs> I have these fabrics done here in New York, and uh, sometimes I said that I twist and torture them to, uh, <laughs> to do what they're doing. And uh, it's a special process because the fabrics almost have to be cooked to do this. Now, I know what cooking means for me, but what exactly does it mean when you're talking about fabric? <laughs> in this case, it's, uh, it's a pleating process mm -hmm. where uh, with the pattern done, mm -hmm. is a paper pattern put on the fabric, they have to heat it up and that will crinkle the fabric to this case. In, the, in this particular one, it's pieces of fabric, mm -hmm. so they have to do it one way first to get oh. one side of the pleating, and then they turn it around and they do it again. It's almost like baking it. Mm -hmm. they, they have to bake it. Of course, the fabric stays like this because it's a synthetic fabric. Mm -hmm. Uh, on a natural fiber, if we steam it, it will come off, but right. this way it's done, it's permanent. Oh, it's lovely. And so rich looking. Yeah, they're, they just look. Oh. And then, you know, it's a little bit of something that you don't see on the outside. A shot of color. When right. I use muted colors on the outside, then I, I use a shot of color on the inside. 
You know, when I'm traveling, these are the types of outfits I'd like to have. And I'm not carrying a large bag. It's very easy. It's, uh, you know, we can uh, take it and... I'll just take that, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'd love to see more. Absolutely, let's go for it. Now these dresses are made from the same fabric, but they look very different. Yes, when um, we work a collection, a, the collection is done on groups, uh, groups of dresses out of the same fabric, because I wanted to offer more than one option. Mm -hmm. And in this case, you have a one-piece dress, a sleeveless, and the separates. And it's very important, again, to notice that uh, with these very, very deep brown, I use the blue underneath. But, but not only do you use one layer, but you use two layers. Yeah, well, one layer is the metallic one because I, I really want to see the, the metallic blue coming through. And the other layer is the lining. Which but you've reversed the lining. Yes, because so that... the whole idea is that the satin portion mm -hmm. is to the body. So right. it feels good. It feels ah. like your underwear really feels nice and cool. Now, you've paid such uh, attention to detail. Are these dresses accessible for most of us? Uh, very much so. Are you talking hundreds or thousands? Uh, hundreds, Ooh, low hundreds. We like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is not your everyday little black dress. No, the idea of these black dresses is, is a little twist, mm. which is uh, sexy black dresses for that woman that still want to wear black, but I want her to, to look new. You see what I do? I make it totally oh, that pink again. inside, yeah. or I make it royal blue. blue. But in the case of this dress, it has a little bit of the blue showing Just through. a little kick. Just of a little bit. Showing. Ooh, let's talk about this one. This is a very difficult color, this olive green. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have uh, an iridescence to it, and then I give the sequence to really make it uh, iridescent. This two pieces. Be, uh, and again, it would be great with a sweater. Yeah. yeah. Be great with the sweater, be great with the bustier. It's a very full skirt that doesn't look it because it's very um, transparent, but it's not. So, one does not really just have to wear that little black dress, does one? Uh, no, not anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's really been a pleasure. Thank you. When we return, we'll make great-looking decorating accents and beautiful soap for gifts or the bath. <laughs>